In this video, I'm gonna show you how to wrap your radiator pipes. And the reason why I did this was because these radiator pipes get really, really hot. And I've not only done this once, but twice and three times, boop, over there. And now I'm about to do it for the fourth time in my kitchen. So let me walk you through that process. My parents just got here because they're gonna help me. If I do this by myself, it takes about four hours. If I do it with a helper, it takes about hopefully one to two hours. Let's find out. First thing you're gonna have to do is figure out how long is your pipe, how thick your pipe is, and then how thick the rope you're going to use is. You can then plug it into this equation. I'm gonna help you through this process on this pipe cover DIY because Lord knows that that pipe cannot stay exposed. So I have nine foot ceilings, so my pipe is nine feet long. Nine feet has to be converted into inches. And so nine times 12 is 108. Then we need to grab the diameter of the pipe, which is how thick the pipe is. My pipe is 2.5 inches. And then we wanna go into how thick our rope is going to be. Now I used 1 4th inch rope, which one divided by four is 0.25. Now that we have all the information that we need, we can go ahead and plug that into our equation, which is length is 108 inches divided by the width 0.25. So when you divide that all up, you get 432. And now we'll move over into pi times D. Pi is this long number, so we're gonna round it up to 3.14, and then our diameter is, for me, 2.5, so 3.14 times 2.5 is 7.85. Now that we have those two sections completed, now we can go ahead and times the 432 times 7.85, which equals 3,391.2. Then we can divide that by 12, which gives us 282.6 feet. That is how much rope I'm going to need in feet for one pipe cover. You're welcome. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Smash it, smash it, smash it. Now, so depending on how much rope you're going to need, just plug in your own values and then you'll, you know, figure everything out for yourself. So now that we got that hard part out of the way, you're also going to need scissors, super glue, and an additional helper if you have one. Oh, and also something to group the rope together. You'll see in just one second. As you can see, I have these little ties around them. The reason why I did this is because when I did it originally by myself, it is a lot of work. By kind of having it in a system like this where every 25, 30 feet, it's kind of in this little bundle. That way I can open up the bundles as I get to them. That way I'm not having to filter through like all this tangled up cords, which is what I originally had to go through the first three times that I did this. I'm gonna start a little line going down and then in the back, I just need about six inches just to hold it all together. Not too long. And then I'll just start wrapping the rope. Make sure that I'm going over those six inches. Kind of hold it in place. This is my beginning. And then really tightly. Another thing that you're gonna notice me doing as I'm working on this project is I am wrapping the rope as much as I possibly can, not being perfectionist and making sure that it's touching every single one. I'm actually letting a lot of different strands kind of fall wherever they go. And then at the very end, I will then push them all up and then kind of rotate it in like this. Just imagine like, you know, you're rotating a rope uh, to make it even a little bit tighter that way it kind of compresses on itself. And I learned that this was probably the most effective strategy to twist the rope around and also have it as tight as possible without having to force it at the very, very beginning. When I am passing the rope through and tying everything together, my mom, who is my helper, is also helping me pass through the remainder hundreds of feet of rope as I am going. That way things aren't getting tangled up. 
there are various types of ropes that you can use for something like this. So I used one fourth inch rope. I found to be like the perfect diameter or width of the rope. I decided to go with a nylon slash plastic rope because I wanted a black, sleek, more glossy, modern of color versus going the macrame slash fibrous rope that would give it more of like a rustic look. As you can see, things get a little tangled, and that's because as you wrap it, it tangles itself, so you have to essentially just twist the rope. Let me see this real quick. So, like, you just twist the rope. All of that. And keep twisting. This is the most inexpensive DIY pipe cover. In total, I spent about $80 for 1,200 feet of black nylon rope. Links are in the description. But the thing that I just loved about it is not only the look and the color, but is the fact that I can actually grab on to the radiator. Make sure it touches all the way to the bottom. And this one, I wanna trap the rope inside of it. Here, I'm gonna hold it a little bit and then pass the rope through this little loop that I have all the way through. And then let it tight in on itself hold it in place. Now that's not going to be enough. You want to do a couple more. I'm going to use these all as loops essentially. So I have them all hold out. I'm going to put this through all of them. And I want to make sure that this section is going to be hidden in the back, not in the front. Because as I tighten it, you're going to have like a little bulge. I want that bulge to be in the very, very back. So I'm going to tighten it. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Again, I want the bulge to be in the back. Again, just tighten this by turning. Now that last loop is underneath these last three. It's underneath these over here, and underneath here. So it's pretty much underneath the rope three different times. That way, it's just in case it ever moves, it will not unravel itself. Whatever is left over, I'm gonna cut, I'm leaving about an inch of space. This last little section that's popping out, I'm going to super glue it in its place. I don't really want it to move. And also I'm gonna super glue kind of the top part where it connects. And because it's clear super glue, you won't really see it. Yep, it looks nice. Look at that, my hair looks nice. Uh, I think it took me about an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 15, maybe a little bit less. Thankfully, I had my parents here to help me out. If not, it would have taken four. So yeah, hope you liked this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to get a rope like this, there are links in the description where you can buy these. Great rope. It will withstand all the radiator heat. Trust me. They've been using these for the past two years. I got some more rope. So that way I can tie some people up if anybody's into that. But yeah, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel.